derivatives market how do you define that derivatives market a b c b how do you define derivatives market very good derivatives market louder it's a market for very good that's a good response in the beginning itself first of all we should understand what is derivative okay derivative you might have learned derivation in your mathematics you remember derivation differentiation integration and so on okay the word derivative we are using here is relevant to a financial a kind of financial instrument okay we are li limiting our discussions to discussions on derivatives which are financial instruments derived from underlying financial assets okay but before that i, sh I should say that derivatives as a financial instruments they are not only derived from financial instruments but they are also derived from non financial instruments let, let us understand practically the examples of derivatives okay equity derivatives index derivatives debt derivatives and so on all these are financial derivatives in addition to this you have something called football derivatives snowfall derivatives okay i think the they will come in india you will have cricket derivatives also i think people are, are negotiating thinking discussing on how to introduce cricket betting in india okay the same way that gets uh, introduced you may find cricket derivatives also okay we are not too far away from that what exactly is the der derivative why these derivatives are derived or designed that's very very important for you to understand then only you will understand the later part okay for the simplicity of understanding a derivative is there because the volatility is there okay if there is no volatility there is no scope for derivative why equity derivatives and index derivatives or forex derivatives are more popular than any other derivative the reason is they are highly volatile the forex rate changes every day within the day also equity prices ch change every day within the day also same is the case with index okay so wherever there is a volatility there is a scope for derivative as your friend was saying it is a basically it is designed to hedge risk hedging risk means what protecting your financial asset from risk what kind of risk risk of volatility in prices or volatility in exchange rate or volatility in something got it let us take the example of an equity derivative okay equity derivative you are holding reliance industries shares what is the price of reliance industries any idea huh 30 it's not connected wifi is not working the other day it worked right why oh, it's not working here yes can you just call raju pujari and ask him to get the get the thing done yes you take the example of equity derivative okay i think in the last class we are talking about ntpc we have seen the price of ntpc on the screen also you remember what was the price 192 192 75 now one of you got 
100 shares of ntpc okay with an anticipation or speculation that it will reach 300 rupees after 3 months follow me example one of you you take it 1000 shares 1000 shares of what what at, at the rate of 193 issue so what is your investment Hmm? One lakh ninety-three thousand approximately. Not approximately. It's the right price according to the given price. One lakh ninety-three rupees is your investment. On what basis you bought this NTPC share? You have done thorough technical analysis. You have done thorough fundamental analysis. You have gone through CNBC television channel with the analyst view. You have checked out uh, business standard analyst view and we uh, you have discussed with many people. Okay. According to that, what happened? If you buy the price uh, NTPC at the price of 193, this will go to what? 300 rupees in the coming three months. Three months. That is your anticipation. So you want to make around uh, 1 lakh rupees, 7,000 as a profit. Assume there are no, we leave aside brokerages and other charges. Okay, but you after buying this, now your sixth sense says that market is going to crash. The way you have done the analysis, okay, in the same way your friend also has done the analysis. She or he suggested you that like a mad guy, why did you buy NTPC? I have done very good analysis i got first hand information on this okay and that analysis says that it will come down from 193 are you following it will come down from 193 and it will reach 150 or 100 in the coming 2 to 3 months then of course you yourself feel that your analysis was good but still you have to consider others analysis also because he is also very good professional. He got very good logic behind that. So now as he was saying you want to hedge the risk. Hedge the risk of what? Price volatility. What is this volatility here? Your anticipation is that it will reach 300 in our example 300. And your friend is strongly saying that it will come down to 150 or 100. This is what we call as volatility in anticipation. Okay? Then what to do? Then you will depend on, uh, you will try to design a financial derivative or equity derivative for NTPC stock. Okay? This is the practical reason why people go for derivatives. Followed? Let us go step by step. Is that clear to you all? Right. If we switch from practical to the conceptual base, I think we have to go through the slides we have on the screen. So as we are defining a derivative is a financial instrument okay through a agreement between two parties two parties means it could be two institutions two individuals institution individual individual institution four combinations either way okay so you need not write down listen to me listen to me you need not write down so what is this agreement is all about it is an obligation to sell or buy the underlying asset in our example NTPC stock okay for a predetermined price and date means what price will be price will be fixed today itself and the date is also fixed today shall I try So what is this predetermined price and uh, date means Mr. A, Mr. B, 
A wants to sell, B wants to buy. Followed? A wants to sell, B wants to buy. So they enter into an agreement, which we called as a financial derivative. So what is this agreement is all about? Mr. A says, I will sell 193 rupees NTPC. How many? Thousand. Okay, Mr. A says. Mr. B says, I will buy NTPC for 193. How many? Thousand. So predetermined price, agreed? 193. In your example. Then what is the what is this predetermined date? Okay. So Mr. A and Mr. B they agree that we complete the selling and buying transaction today itself, but we settle at a later date. What is that later date? After one month, two months, or three months, or one year, or ten years, whatever it is. Okay. Usually in derivatives, importantly equity derivatives, it is of three months. One, two, three. In which month we are now? April. We have April month contracts, May month contract and June month contract. Basically, three months. In Indian context, I am saying. Equity context, I am saying. Okay. So, Mr. A and B enter into an agreement with an obligation to buy or sell a security. Okay. What is the security again? Financial derivative underlying as it is equity okay for a predetermined price and date am i clear this is how a financial derivative looks like and works works for you we will see at a later stage how it works and uh, what are the advantages disadvantages and so on okay then uh, when you talk about types of derivatives okay when you talk about finished let it restart. Eh? Yeah, this was not the okay, do it. Do the restart. When you talk about derivatives, basically you have options and futures, or futures and options. There are uh, several forms of uh, derivatives, but futures and options are the very important examples or tools or instruments of financial derivatives. Okay. This is one form of uh, differentiating derivatives. What are the two forms? Based on how they work. Okay. Based on the instruments. Based on the underlying asset. Again, you can classify derivatives. Can any one of you help me? Based on nature or type of underlying asset also, you can classify derivative. How? Index derivative. Stock derivative, forex derivative, commodity derivative, weather derivative, football derivative, and so on. Okay. So again, each derivative has again what? For example, equity derivatives we have. Further, equity derivative can be classified as future option. Forex derivative is there, future option. Weather derivative is there, future option. Clear? All of you? So, when someone is talking about uh, what are the different types of derivatives, okay? Based on the instruments we have, equity, index, stock, debt, forex and so on. Based on the process or type or the mechanism you have, Futures, options, two, two types. Clear all of you? Right? Now, in addition to futures and options, we have something called swap. Okay? Swap. There is no full form for that. It is swap. Okay? Coming to that. Okay, so derivatives, futures, options we have that is the classification. Just just wait for me, just wait for me. So let me see.
what is it I was trying to do, show you? NSC. As we are taking the example of NTPC, let us see NTPC. Yeah, it's working. Thank you. Market is open. Yeah. So let us see Reliance. Okay. F and O market today, as we are talking about, get quote. Okay, this uh, bid and ask is not there, but still some information is available to us. Le uh, let me come back to that after going through the uh, presentation we have. <coughs> yeah. So. When you talk about derivatives, this is different classification we have. Forwards, futures, options, warrants, leaps, basket. And you also have warrant. You also have what I will just list out all these things. By the time they get completed, I think I will kits, swaps. Did we discuss about warrant any time? Yes? No? No. Yes or no? No. Proudly and uh, confidently saying. Yes? yes Where and how? What is that? Hmm? In which topic we discussed? Money market. Yes, yes. Financial instruments. We have seen different varieties and types of financial instruments. What are the types? What is the categorization or classification of financial instruments? Hmm. Short term and long term, okay, I agree. Long term, you please differentiate. Yes? Equity, debt, and hybrid. What are the types of hybrid instruments? Warrants and convertible debentures. That's fantastic. That's where we have learned warrants. Types of long term financial instruments we have seen debt instruments, equity instruments, and hybrid. You remember? Okay. In hybrid, we have discussed warrants and, and convertible debentures. Yeah, you're saying something about warrants. What are they? Warrants will be converted into shares at a later date till the time of conversions. These warrants are neither debt nor equity. The person who holds these warrants will not get neither dividend nor interest. Okay. So, why I am talking about that warrant is, I am not going to talk about uh, wa that warrant here. The warrant I am trying to talk here is completely different from warrant I am trying to talk about there. We already discussed about that. Okay. Let, it, let me go one by one. Futures and options, I just now told you, just now I classified, futures and options, then uh, extends to forwards. Let me go one by one. Yeah. Future, it is an agreement between two parties to buy or sell an asset at a certain time in the future at a certain price, where future contracts are special types of forward contracts in the sense that the former are standardized and exchange traded contracts okay so i put some efforts here uh, to differentiate future and forward okay now let me see what is forward it is a customized contract between two entities where settlement takes place on a specific date in the future at today's pre agreed price the definition for forward and future remain same follow me very carefully very very carefully forwards okay go to the same example ntpc okay it is an agreement between contractual agreement between mr a and mr b 
to buy and sell a specific security in our example ntpc okay with an obligation with predetermined price 193 rupees at a later date june 28 or may 28 take it as 28th of may mr a and mr b they are going to settle down uh, for what price 193 okay how many shares 1000 okay at what period one month the next settlement date for a and b is 28th of may followed right so i'm just talking about forward mr a mr b between them this is the price mr a is the seller mr b is the buyer okay a is the seller and b is the buyer of what buyer of a equity future equity forward in our example now the difference between forwards and futures i can use the word forward or future for the same process but the difference between a forward and future is futures are highly standardized highly standardized standardized means what means number of futures number of futures i think it's gone uh, let me see minimum for ntpc turn over underlying future stock future stock number of call okay let us see i don't uh, exactly remember what is the size of uh, uh, nt minimum size of ntpc yeah, i think it is some uh, 2000 or uh, 3000 i believe okay means what if you want to buy ntpc futures in nse you have to buy a minimum of 2000 in the case of stocks what is the minimum one, one, one. one ntpc share or multiples of one but in the case of futures ntpc it is minimum of 2000 and multiples of 2000 sir i don't have money i do i want to buy only one future you can't do that okay minimum 2000 multiplied by 193 that should be the total value of buying or value of selling okay now so in that way futures are highly standardized just now we have seen in terms of quantity one is quantity then other one is expiry date expiry date in india for futures the expiry date for all derivatives falls on last thursday of any month okay what was the last uh, thursday for uh, month of april this week what is today 28th 30th is wednesday so thursday is first of may am i right so what is the last thursday's date so 24th april 2008 is the contract ending period or expiry date for april futures then what is the expiry date for may futures anyone of you have pocket calendar or something like that 29th 29th may what is why 29th because it is the last thursday of okay clear all of you now what happens if the last thursday is a holiday next day friday if friday is a holiday then monday 
are you following if last thursday which is a which i'm saying should be the expiry date for futures contract then the next day will be the last day if the next day is also is a holiday then coming next trading day okay now so futures are highly standardized in terms of quantity expiry date not only this regulatory environment and so on they have big markets futures okay then how forwards are different from futures futures are highly customized futures are highly customized means what the way mr a and b are trying to enter into a contract is completely different from the way mr x and y are trying to enter into a contract followed if you have a doubt you please ask me the way i'm talking about forwards now this is how mr a and b are trying to enter into a contract 1000 shares maybe after 2 months and so on and they have entered into a contract by their own way okay and in the other sense mr x and y they want to enter into a contract for maybe 1 lakh ntpc shares with different expiry date okay so forwards are highly customized forwards are highly customized usually the size of forwards is very high the size okay and one more thing is futures are more familiar and active and are known were known in equity futures okay forwards are well known in forex market okay forwards are well known in forex market and futures are well futures and options are well known in equity market including index equity index then so that's what i was saying forwards are highly customized and futures are highly standardized okay for futures we have a very big market structured and systematic professional market for futures but forwards it's not like that then in fact uh, the few uh, the futures are exchange traded forwards are not yeah which one screen is not coming this press on or off one time i think it's working it will take some time some time hey, it's coming yeah forwards and futures understood right now let us see let us not see let us complete more about futures just now i told you no customized means you are getting the cloth from a textile shop and stitching it for yourself according to your requirements that is customized standardized means going to a ready made shop and getting the things that is that is standardized standardized means something generalized customized means for example if you talk about teaching and training teaching is almost standardized because it has conceptual base concepts are globally valid globally standardized but when it comes to training training a student training an employee training a businessman training a new employee middle level manager senior most manager same is the concept but training has to be customized according to the requirements the same way forwards are customized and futures are standardized okay now why how future is a hedging tool how future is a hedging tool let me come back to the example which i gave you 
ओके वन ऑफ यू बॉट वन थाउजेंड एन टी पी सी शेयर बाई इन्वेस्टिंग वन लैख नाइंटी थ्री थाउजेंड ओके आफ्टर थरो एनालिसिस एंड अदर फ्रेंड्स सेट दैट लाइक ए फूल यू हैव बॉट वन नाइंटी थ्री रुपीज पर शेयर एन टी पी सी यू आर गोइंग टू लूज देर थ्रेटनिंग यू लाइक एनीथिंग देर स्कैरिंग यू ओके बट यू बिलीव इन दैट ही इज इक्वली अ गुड प्रोफेशनल इन स्टॉक एनालिसिस ओके दैट इज द रीजन यू आर so then what you have to do using derivatives can you help me or can you help your friend make a guess no problem you have to repeat the question the situation is the example which i told you 193 price 1000 shares 193 is your investment and now you have the fear of uh, ntpc share coming down based on your friends advice it will come down to 150 or 100 in the coming 3 months but based on your intuition and analysis it will reach 3 months in 3 months it will reach 300 but your friend is saying it will come down okay now no we have not entered uh, options uh, still let us talk about futures only so what should we do we should sell future or buy future You already bought NTPC shares, so again buying means you are increasing in the same position. You are going in the same direction with more pace. Instead of that, if hedging means it is a counterfeit, it is a counter-setting tool. Okay, you bought something means you have to sell. Okay, now how it works? Let us see. I think board is visible to you all. One ninety-three. is the price which mr x bought okay 193 now if he sells the same stock future for 193 what happened why no profit why no loss and how it is a hedging tool if it comes down wait right now assume let us take two views of yours and your friends let me take the view of your own okay what did you say you you thought it will go to 300 okay or let us see with 200 very short period it went to 200 rupees upside okay 200 rupees upside So, what happened to the equity, and what happened to the future? You agree with him? He says, in equity, you are at profit, and in futures, you are at loss. Is he right? Hmm? Is he right? No? How? Then, what is the other alternative to him? No, it's not buying. It's already happened. The process is over. One ninety-three bought, one ninety-three sold. This is future and this is stock. Okay. After one week, this is the price. Same day you bought one ninety-three into thousand stock. Okay. One ninety-three into thousand futures. You saw.